Before we begin the video, it is important to clarify that this is not a comprehensive guide to all water snakes in Florida. This is a guide to water snakes found only in Seminole County, Florida, and does not include the salt marsh snake, which is only found in coastal counties in the state. This video also does not include mud snakes or swamp snakes, as it is only covering water snakes in the genus Nerodia that are commonly confused with cottonmouths. Now that we're clear, let's meet the snakes. The banded water snake is by far the most common water snake species in Seminole County. They are also the easiest to confuse for a cottonmouth due to the many bands along its body and its facial stripes. We will cover differences between water snakes and cottonmouths at the end of the video. The easiest way to identify a banded water snake is to look at its lip scales. They are always a bright tan to yellow color divided by thick black markings. Those markings are found in other water snake species too, but not at the same degree. This individual was handled gently, but cautiously as water snakes often bite when initially handled. Banded water snakes can be found in virtually any fresh body of water. They can reach four feet in length, but typically are found at sizes between one to three feet. Individuals like this one are not prominently banded, however they can still be distinguished by their black markings on the lip scales. Up next is the brown water snake. This species is easily identified by its black checkered markings alternating along its body. They can reach five feet in length and prefer rivers over other bodies of water. Brown water snakes also have arrow-shaped heads, similar to cottonmouths. They have prominent black markings on their lip scales, similar to banded water snakes. Brown water snakes usually have the same color on the top of their head as on their lip scales. This, along with their checkered pattern, distinguishes them from the banded water snake. It should be mentioned that while water snakes are not venomous, they are still capable of inflicting a painful bite. Additionally, water snakes have anticoagulant properties in their saliva, which cause their prey, as well as their predators, to bleed profusely. This is a useful adaptation for quickly taking down fish, but it will have the same effect on humans. The reason this brown water snake didn't bite me is because I handled it very gently, and it was also only 65 degrees outside. The final water snake species in Seminole County, Florida, is the Florida green water snake. This species is the largest water snake in the United States, reaching close to six feet long. They are typically found in wetlands and are dark green in coloration. Florida green water snakes usually have brightly colored lip scales with faint dark markings dividing them. They also have a ring of small scales around the eyes, which is not a trait shared with other water snakes. This individual was handled gently and is a very small representative of the species. Juveniles typically have darker bands along the body and become more green as they mature. I haven't mentioned the belly scales of water snakes yet. Banded and brown water snakes often have cream and red striped bellies, while the Florida green water snake has a plain white belly, very similar to a cottonmouth. It's finally time to talk about cottonmouths. The Florida cottonmouth is a large, heavy-bodied aquatic pit viper that can be found in most bodies of water in Seminole County, but they prefer cypress swamps. At first glance, it can be easy to confuse a cottonmouth for a banded water snake, as they are both banded and have bright lip scales. Both species also have prominent stripes behind the eye to the back of the head. We can rule this out from being a brown water snake because the lip scales are a different color from the top of its head. And we can also rule it out from being a Florida green water snake because the body isn't green and the lip scales have more than one color on them. 
Cottonmouths have bulky arrow-shaped heads due to their venom glands in the back of their head. Banded water snakes often mimic that head shape when they feel threatened. This one looks very similar to a cottonmouth, but it can still be distinguished by the black lip stripes. Upon being released, the snake quickly flees toward the water. Cottonmouths may do the same after being approached by a human, but are more likely to coil up and gape their mouth open displaying a bright white color. Water snakes never demonstrate this behavior. If you see a large, dark-colored snake gaping its white mouth open, it is a cottonmouth. That does not mean that the snake should be killed. They only want to be left alone and are kind enough to warn us that they're here by gaping their mouth open. This particular individual gaped its mouth open once I startled it, but it never tried to bite me, nor did it try to escape toward the ravine behind it. Cottonmouths may be distinguished from water snakes by the presence of heat sensing pits in the front of their eyes. Additionally, cottonmouths have a scale over the top of the eye, which gives the snake a permanent angry appearance. But what if you didn't see the snake's head? You can still identify what it was by examining the tail. Cottonmouths have very short tails that taper quickly. Water snakes have much longer tails that take much longer to taper. Now that we've addressed the differences between water snakes and cottonmouths, let's bust a myth about them. In this video, I am approaching a cottonmouth that wants to cross the road. Upon initially driving past it, the snake was heading in the opposite direction that it is currently facing. I maneuver in front of it, blocking it from going the way it came. The snake stops, realizing I'm here, but then continues straight at me. Was it trying to chase me? No. It felt safer going back to where it came from than continuing to cross the road where it hasn't been yet. I am in the way of where it wants to escape towards, so it will appear to chase me to get where it wants to go. Hopefully this video will educate people about how to correctly identify water snakes and cottonmouths. Water snakes are often unnecessarily killed by people who think they're venomous cottonmouths. None of these snakes should be harmed. They are simply trying to live their lives and want nothing to do with you. This video is intended primarily for Seminole County snakes, but it may be used to represent snakes in any of Florida's peninsular counties that are not adjacent to the coastlines, as the salt marsh snake is another common water snake that lives along the coast. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos of water snakes or just snakes in general native to Seminole County and related counties, I have plenty of videos showcasing a wide variety of species in this region. Please enjoy, and stay safe out there.